Yeah, everything but your blue spring is on unless you haven't been, unless you haven't been here in a while and you need to take some off. <clears throat> this is a TheraBand class. We're gonna be using the TheraBand quite a bit. So go ahead and you'll have it in your hands for your warm up. And then just do some practicing with the TheraBand, making sure you're not too, your hands aren't too close together. If you have your hands a little too close together, you'll end up breaking the wrist. I'm gonna show my camera friends, like you don't wanna be here, but length. Dropping the shoulders, reaching those wrists long, and closing, opening and closing, yep. And sometimes you have to look over at your wrist to make sure, okay? It's not, we're, it's not 12 yet, so you don't have to start unless you want to. I'm just like letting you practice those arms. Now your heels are in line with your sits bones. Let's go ahead and breathe while we're waiting. Inhale through your nose, feel your three-dimensional expansion around your ribs, your side ribs, and your back. And exhale out through pierced lips, blowing out birthday candles. Inhale, sniff a rose. Exhale, blow out birthday candles. Okay, now we're gonna move. You're gonna open your arms, push the carriage out. Come back in, bringing the arms closer together. Long, deep breaths are gonna help you use your abs more. So as you pull that carriage in and you're exhaling, your abs are actually working better that way, okay? All right, now come in, drop to the arches. Wrap your feet around that bar. Bend your elbows out to the side and make 90 degree or L shapes. And then you're gonna push out as you stretch out the legs and then bend those elbows so the upper part of the arm just stays still. You're just moving those arms out and in. And you'll, this gets to the triceps, warms them up. Watch the locking of the elbows, especially if you hyperextend. You wanna soften those elbows. Okay, now come all the way back in, drop to the balls of the feet, lift your heels, and then I'm going to demonstrate this one because I think people get confused on it. You're going to open to a diagonal so your right arm is lower than your left, and then you're going to keep doing that side. Then you're gonna switch your arms again. And I'm going at a pretty good pace. I'm stretching out my legs powerfully and then coming back in. But don't lock the knee out to the spring. So you don't want your knees to drop downward. They are extending out and lifting the kneecap towards your hip. All right, come all the way back in. Let the band just rest on your abdominals. Take your hands on top of the band and by your sides and push out. We're gonna go into calf raises. Drop down and up with those calves. You're just relaxing the band on your abdomen and then you're putting your hands on top and just relaxing them on the mat, yeah. Now go right into running, dropping one heel lift, lower lift. Don't forget the lift as you pass one leg. Now lift both heels, bend those knees halfway. Keep the carriage stable and still as you lower and lift your heels. This is gonna isolate this muscle called the soleus that's below the gastrocnemius, which is that big muscle that you can see in the back of the calf. Everybody wants that muscle to poke out, but the soleus that's below it impacts the knee a ton, even though it doesn't attach to the knee but it's a very important muscle for stability of the knee. And you can't really work it as hard without bending your knee and doing this. Okay, now hold those heels lifted and pulse those legs in and out. Really drawing those abs in strong, deep breath, squeeze those muscles all the way around those knees. 
All right, stay where you are. Bring the heels in together to Pilates V. Push out and zip those inner thighs together and come back in. Press and engage upward. Think of shooting your body out like a rocket as you straighten your legs. One more. Let's come all the way in. Go wide on the bar. Stay on the toes, the balls of the feet. Take it out into that wide plie and press out and in with the heels lifted still. Okay, now let's add a lower and lift with the ankles one time and before you come back in, bending the knees. Push back out, straighten the legs, lower and lift the ankles one time, come back in. So we're just adding in that little lower and lift in between the bend and straighten. All right, while you're doing these, put your headrest down. We're gonna move into some bridging right away. So you just go ahead and keep moving while you're putting your headrest down. All right, now on the next bend, the knees come in, lift the heels high, keep it wide, and lift to a bridge here. So it's just a big plie bridge. Hold those hips in the air, hinge it down. So we're not articulating the spine, we're just lowering the hips straight down, the spine staying lengthened out, and lift it straight back up. So the main motion is from the hip joint. And up. If you're feeling your belly open to the sky, your ribs open to the sky, you're trying to connect those ribs and hips so that you're just lifting from the glutes and the hip joint is hinging up and down. Yeah, sometimes you can't tell. All right, now hold the hips up, drop the heels down and up in a calf raise bridge. Just warming up the back of the legs. The purpose of bridging in the beginning, a lot of times, just warming up the back body, the back of the chain, the posterior line. Hold it there, lift the heels, lower that pelvis all the way down. Okay, bring your heels in parallel, in line with your sits bones on the bar, heels. Push down through those heels. We're gonna articulate this time, so you're gonna inhale to prepare the motion. You're gonna exhale, peel your tailbone towards your face. Now you're gonna roll through your low back. Now you're going to peel up to where the bottom of the ribs are up and you're going to hold it there and inhale. You're going to exhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Straighten it fully. You're going to articulate your spine back down, articulating as you get to the tailbone, bend your right knee and put it on the mat, on the bar. Inhale, exhale, peel the tailbone up, low back, ribs bottom, extend the left leg. Inhale, exhale, roll through the spine. As you're about to land your tailbone, put the knee, bend the knee and put the foot down. Okay? Now take your feet to the platform below. We're gonna work on our chest lift without tucking our pelvis. So you're gonna inhale, drop your chin to your chest, roll up through the upper body now and reach for the foot bar. Look at your pelvis, it should be neutral still. So a glass of water could sit right there and not tilt towards your body, okay? So you shouldn't have to use your pelvis or butt cheeks squeezed together when you do a curl up. Now lower back down and inhale. Inhale, drop your chin, exhale, roll up and pause. You're gonna pump your arms there. Inhale and exhale, the bottom tip of your shoulder blade will touch the mat. If you can come up higher, don't, because it makes it too easy, actually. <laughs> Stay there. You want your, rib and pelv your ribs to try to touch your pelvis bones, but try to get into neutral. So, yep. so do it from the abs, not from the hip flexors gripping. Good. Now float your right leg to tabletop while you keep pumping your arms. Soften your elbows a little bit if they lock. Now lift the left leg to meet the right leg. Now you're in that full one and you can tilt your pelvis towards your face on this one. Okay, now reach back, take your hands behind your head, support your head. Take some deep breaths here, okay? You're gonna exhale, extend one leg over the bar. Inhale, bend and bring it in. Exhale, extend and bend and extend. Good. One more. All right, now come all the way back in, take the band off your abs, and you're gonna do this. You're stretching out the band, and you're putting it right behind the head, and you're gonna hold and brace your head. This is the hammock for your head, and you're gonna lift yourself up, 
Okay? Yep. And you're going to use the, relax your head in that band. Use your arms and abs and lift and lift and exhale. Exhale. Your legs can be up or down on the bar. Your legs can extend to the sky or over the bar. You have lots of options here. Now hold it up. Rotate just your chest to the left. Come back to the center. Keep your shoulder blades barely touching the tips. And then to the right. Hold. Back to the center. Inhale. To the left. Exhale. To the center. Inhale. To the other side. Exhale. Back to the center. Put the feet down if they're up. Relax. Okay. We're going to step to the right side of the carriage and stand on the floor. Actually, you could come up on this side. Okay, you're going to take your band and stretch it out and stand in the middle of it like this. All right, we're going to take our band, hold a bicep curl. We're going to work on our glutes. Bend your knees a little bit. You're going to step, 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 keeping your knee and foot straight ahead. If your foot tries to turn out, that's just your quads trying to do it for you. They're stronger than your butt muscles. These glutes don't want to do it a lot of the time, and so that's why that leg will turn. Okay, we're going to stay on that left leg. If you want more, come here. You're going to tap out and in, out and in. Little sample of the weights class we do on Wednesdays too. Two, straighten those wrists. Every now and then the wrists will start to kind of go back. Lean to the other side. Here we go. I know sometimes it'll slide off. It'll slap you in the butt and give you a spanking. <laughs> Four more. Three, two, one. Come to the center. You're going to tap out, tap out like a little quicker Slice like a tap jack. Now try to reach, reach. If that's too much and you're feeling your neck, don't do it, okay? You only do it if you're feeling those bite, the, the delts, okay? Watch those toes not turning out. Make your booty do it. Hold it wide now, ladies. Go up higher on the band. You're gonna pull back, extend, return, and return forward. Open the chest right here. This is where most people do this. And you got to do the opposite of that. Yeah. And come down. Good. That's it. Nice job, y'all. Y'all look great. Two more. Awesome. Okay. Biceps here, stand, bring your feet back together, turn out to lateral, cup your hands a little bit, bicep, reach, bend, return. Now your reach might be like this. You just want to listen to your body. So if you feel your shoulders come to your ears, that means not yet, not that high, maybe a little less high the next time. You're working on just that core and trunk stability along with your shoulder. Good. Let's finish up one more. Mm-hmm, that's it. All right, we're gonna take our band with us and do some inner thigh work. So your carriage is already set up on the right spring. All you have to do is move these pads out of your way. I just put mine down on the floor. If you have on regular socks, take them off right now. I have on regular socks. You're gonna hold on to the bar and stand on that carriage. It's light, so make sure you feel safe. If you stand on the carriage first, it's very dangerous, so make sure. <laughs> as long as you're holding on to the bar, it's fine. Okay, close the carriage. Squeeze the legs together and bend. You're gonna take your band out in front and then overhead, close the carriage, come back behind you, return up. <sighs> And then what you're working on are those knees still going out to the pinkies and your inner thighs are doing the squeeze close, okay? 
pulling that band behind you. Bend those elbows. Draw those shoulder blades wide. And the band comes, you bend the elbows and you're right by your head the whole time and you touch right here and then you come right back up. You don't want to be too far away because it'll end up putting you in hyperextension. Okay, that's enough of those, right? Okay, stand up to where you are straight leg, pelvis in neutral, push out, open to the left, close so my right hand doesn't move. Just my left hand. Opening to the left, looking back. Coming back in, okay? If your right hand goes all the way to the front, you're trying to resist. Keep your right hand where it is. Pull. Tell your right hand, stay there. Yes. <laughs> it's funny how it's hard to do that. All right, okay, you're now you're gonna push the carriage out where you can maintain it. So for me, that's not near as far as I can on that rotation. I'm gonna be here, reach the uh, band overhead and then stick your booty out and go all the way to a flat back. Bend those knees. Okay, you're gonna rotate right, open that chest and left. And keep everything still from the pelvis down and you're trying to work on that mobility in your upper back. Last one ladies. Hinge back up, close that carriage. All you're gonna do is turn towards the platform and just drape your band over the bar so you don't need it right now. Your right foot's on the platform, right shin is close to the bar, left foot goes towards like the middle. Then you're gonna stretch your left leg out and then if you want to take your hands off, great, but you just keep your, barely touch if you're using your fingertips. Keep your chest low as you bend the left knee and straighten the left leg. Bend and straighten, there you go. It's very light, so it's really tough on the right hamstrings. The right inner thigh. The left hip flexors, you might feel stretching, but it's really more inner thigh and ham on that right side. Hold that left leg straight now. Okay, now take your fingertips to the bar and stretch your right leg out and in. Keeping your spine long. This is the Eve's lunge on the platform. This is more what the book says <laughs> to do. We did on the floor a lot. All right, ladies, now pull that carriage close. Let's just go ahead and do the lunge on the left foot on the platform, right foot on the carriage. Stretch out, hold it for a second to stretch. What I have to do is I'm like, oh, hip, get in alignment. Okay, I have to tell my body what to do. Then if you wanna take your fingertips, barely touch her off, bend and straighten. Keep your body low towards that foot bar. That'll help that hamstring really turn on. Y'all look great. I think about scissoring my legs together and apart, like I'm cutting through cardboard, so you're really active. All right, let's put our hands on the foot bar. Both the feet go to the middle of the carriage together. Your knees are bent, and you're in this little, oh, I forgot, we'll do that next. Push straight out, exhale. Inhale, bend and touch that stopper, push against it. Inhale, push back out. Exhale, pull, inhale, one more, put that left foot back on the platform, fingertips barely touching the bar, we're going to push out and do that left leg stretch, and back in, woo, <laughs> my naked, yeah, good job. So this is the one where your left leg is straightening and your fingertips are there? Yeah. All right, the Eve's lunge essentially early, okay? Bring that right foot in a little bit. Turn to the right, grab your band on the way up to standing. We're doing the squat, so you're gonna close the carriage, bend your knees, reach the band. This time you're gonna come in front of your face. You're almost touching your nose every time. Reach it back up. 
pull the blades away, bend the elbows, you're making a W to a V, VW, Volkswagen, right? Shoulder blades are out of those ears the whole time. The holding the carriage closed is very difficult on the inner thighs. All right, my friends, stand all the way up. Reach the arms out. The left arm is going to stay planted where it is. You're going to open from the right side. If you need to get tighter in the band, you can. If there's not enough tension to open from that right side. You don't want to feel the top of the shoulder and the neck. That's an indicator that you're probably over using the band. And just make it a little bit more gentle. Abs are strong and pulling in as you exhale. Pull the tailbone down to the floor. Let's do one more. Okay, now we're going to push it out somewhere where you can stabilize the carriage. We're going to take our arms out in front of us and overhead. Stick your booty out. Go down and drop the blades out of your ears as you rotate right and left. There's just gentle tension on the band. It's not aggressive. Your arms are out in front of your head. There you go. Good. That's it. Yeah. And rotate. So it's like, uh, yeah. Let's do one more. And stand up. Hinge up. Bring those hands down. Okay. Now put your hand on the bar and step to the floor. You can leave your band on that reformer. Take your box and put it in long box. And then we're going to use the tower. You're going to lay on your stomach, climb up the frame and go to that tower. Above the push through bar, you're going to grab about one or two eye hooks up from there. It's just a, no, you keep the yellow one. Uh -huh. And you're going to row to the end, touch the end, unless your head hits the wall. Mercy, yours might. <laughs> Don't do that then. We're doing the tower. Tower, not the push to bar. Yeah. You're going to pull through to the end and hold it. You're going to take your right hand by your thigh. You're going to make sure your ribs and pelvis are not now leaning or rotating, so equal pressure. And then you're going to release the left arm four. Three, two, one, pull in. Two three, four, hold it. I see some shoulders and some ears. Y'all drop that blade down and flatten it and drop it in your back pocket. Now adjust those ribs, lift that belly button, equal pressure in the hips and the ribs. Now stretch it back out. Four, three, two, one, and pull. Four, three, two, one, stretch it back out. Four, three, to hold and stop before it pulls up to your ear and come again. Four, three, two, hold it. Switch to the right hand. Adjust that the pelvis is level, your legs are level, you're not pushing into one side of your pelvis more. Use the abs to accomplish that with the glutes. Now slowly release. Three, two, one, pull back in. Four, three, two, one, hold it, adjust those shoulder blades, drop them flat, and come back out. Four, three, two, one, pull back in. Four, three, two, one, release it. Four, three, good job. Y'all got there. That looks awesome. Four, three, two, hold it. You're going to grab the push through bar with an overhanded grip first. Take it really wide and touch your sternum. And I'm doing it if you want to look at me. I'm making a W. Drop the elbows. See how my hands are higher than my elbow? Touching the box with my elbows. And I'm going to lift my chest a little bit. Drop your chin. Slowly release. So I feel really good in between my shoulder blades right now. It feels nice to drop, now to lift. The bar isn't moving. It's your body moving. So try to keep the bar right where it is. It's hard to control it when it's this light. To me, that's a little bit more challenging when it's light and you have to do the control. All right, hold that bar into your sternum. You're gonna take your left hand to the middle underhanded grip, right hand on the box. Scoot in and turn, that's all you gotta do. Your left armpit's right at the edge of the box. Stretch out your legs, put your right hand on the box continually. 
Make sure your armpit is really on the box. Notice where my armpit is on this box. It's like on it, on the side. If you're too far off, this won't work good, okay? Stretch your legs out, squeeze them together. You're gonna row your left elbow until it touches the box and lift your chest. Drop your ear out of your shoulder. Your abs are strong, so put your right hand on your ribs. Make sure they're not pushed out. Slowly release, sit back down. And again, exhale, lift. And back down. This is very similar to something we do on the chair, except we're not pulling. We're on the pedal and it's helping us. This is the same thing we always do on the floor. If you do mat Pilates ever, we push into the floor and we lift. It's an exercise on the mat. It teaches you if you're using this or not. It makes you learn how fast. Okay, we're gonna hold the left arm straight and straighten your legs. Now you're gonna lay your head down on your arms and you're gonna lift your right leg up and down. Lift your rib cage off that box on that left side. <sighs> head down, ribs up. Four, three, two. Hold that right leg up. Lift the left leg up and down. Seven more. Six, five, four, three, Two, lay that head down, straighten that arm. One, now, don't ever complicate how to get out of this, y'all, okay? All you do is turn on your stomach. Look, change arms. Look what I'm doing. Just flip over, hold the box with your left hand. Scoot in, yeah. Stretch out. Okay, now you're gonna pull again. Exhale, lengthen out your ribs. So pull your right rib up and your head doesn't lift very high. Inhale, come back down slowly, releasing. Exhale. Inhale. Good. It's a lot of triceps and a lot of obliques. You got to activate your legs though. Squeeze them together. You can move your feet forward a little bit. That will help you if you're feeling like weird. Sometimes it feels like, whoa, am I going to lose my balance? So those feet lifting will help. Move your head back just a little bit. Okay, let's hold that right arm straight. Stretch those legs out long. Lift the left leg up and down. It's a small lift, it's not a big lift. Your right arm stays straight, your head relaxes, your ribs lift off that box on that right side. Okay, now keep that right left leg up and move that bottom leg up and down. Stretch out that arm. And just relax your head. Yeah, there you go. Oh, your legs are too far back. Right there. Try it from there. That'll help you. Think about me punching you in the stomach. Yeah. Okay, y'all. Bend those knees. Pull into that bar. So what you do is you pull the bar in. Put your left hand on the wood frame in front of you. Let go of the bar. Slide yourself back in. Yep, good. Okay. Sit up and flip around. Face the reformer. And you're going to scoot up with your feet. See what I'm doing? Grab the push-through bar. <laughs> your feet are on the headrest. And you're going to scoot back in the middle of the box. All right. We're, we're doing a lot of back and core and obliques today. You're going to pull the bar. See how it's like coming towards my sternum top or my clavicle, collarbone. All right. And then you're going to take your right arm by your ear, stretch it up. Tighten everything in your trunk. Drop the shoulder out of the ear. Slowly release. And as you do, circle behind you to the right. Reach. Just come straight back to where you were. Exhale. Inhale. If you want to reverse the breath and inhale here and exhale to pull, that's okay too. Do which one helps you to relax your neck the most and use your abs the most, okay? That's what's important here. Good job. All right, we're gonna go to an underhanded grip on that left arm. Okay, and you're gonna pull that elbow and the bar will be lower. Yeah, like the Amy, that's it. And then you're gonna take your right arm up again and you're gonna stretch it out 
and in. We're not going to worry about the right arm right now, but in a minute we're going to side bend. Okay, now you can add the side bend. What you'll do is this. Pull, side bend, reach. Return, back out. And you can drop it low with that right arm if you want. Side bend. And what you're looking for is not how low you go to the left. What you're looking for is if I put this dowel at your rib cage right here, you'd be going up and over it, not just collapsing towards it, right? So your left side of your body would never touch the dowel. All right, y'all. Put the right hand on the bar. Go to overhanded grip. Pull it in with both hands. That's how you get in a good alignment first. Then once you feel stable, reach the left arm. Then you're going to slowly release, reaching the left arm down and back. But look at it. Exhale, pull and row back in. Every time you're about to row, drop the right shoulder blade and pull from your back, not your top shoulder and neck. I'm going to guide that elbow. Yeah, just row and let me guide it. There you go. And then row. There you go. That's it. Do the same thing with you, Amy. There you go. That way it gets to there more. There you go. All right, now we're gonna go to the underhanded grip and then your elbow will be down. A lot of you wanted to row in. I noticed that. And that's okay, but you do want to learn how to row this way without this happening. That's why we do that. Go here, now you can go close to your body. And then you can add this side bend when you feel like you're symmetrical. If you feel like you're kind of wonky right now, that's more important to get established in row and then add a bend to it, okay? Both your butt cheeks do not change their shape. You don't shift your waist. Your legs don't move as you side bend. You're lifting up and over from the upper body, from the ribs up to the crown of the head. You'll feel that length in that left side. Nice, ladies. Trying to just side bend straight to that right without turning your head. One more. Awesome, okay. Now, put your feet back, row in, put your feet on the wood frame on each side, let go of the bar gently, just kinda let it slide your feet back in. Makes it kinda fun, all right? Okay, now we're gonna add, um, let's do a yellow actually, it makes it harder on the butt. Just lay on your left side again. We're gonna put the loop on the right foot. When it's light like this, it's actually harder for me, cause I can power through just about anything heavy. <laughs> You give me something light, make me go slow, it challenges me, okay? So this is for all those people out there that need the stability like me. So reach your right leg long, sweep it forward, do not move your spine. Your head's resting in your hand and your waist is lifted. It's just like we were just doing when we were holding the bar. Your spine's the same, waist lifted, head down, spine engaged. It's just that the strap is now on the foot and you're not using your arm, right? Same body position though. Okay, now you're gonna to start to slowly circle up, open and around in a big circle and you can externally rotate there, back to parallel. Good job, y'all. This is that hip replacement prevention. Keep the rope kind of out in front of your body. I forgot to say that. That way you don't hit yourself with the rope. Okay, reverse that big circle the other way. We're doing a lot of them. When you get to a part that feels more challenging, make sure you're exhaling. That's usually a better time to exhale when you're like, oh my gosh. All right, y'all feel that same, like when it's light like that, how hard it gets to be? Yeah. So now let's take that right knee and bend it. 
Keep it in the air, your foot's lined up with your knee, so just making an L out in front of you or 90 degrees. And then you're gonna take your foot and don't move the carriage, you're gonna kick out, keeping the tension on the strap and come back in. It's hard to do that and not move the carriage. It's also hard not to round. So you want to lengthen up and lift through those ribs, drawing up and out. Open up the chin, yeah, there you go. So, yeah, it's like what Brianna's doing and Nicole, that's it, right there. Not moving the carriage and they're doing a kickbox and kick out. That'll make your booty work hard, won't it? <laughs> Okay, last one, y'all. Take that right hand, the loop off the foot, and then before we go to the other side, lay on your stomach. Again, this is the last time we'll lay on our stomach. And then take your hands to the middle of the frame, kind of come away from the stopper, stretch down for a second. My forehead touches my headrest. That's okay. Now, with your chest off the edge, the bra line's at the bottom of the box, you're gonna lift your chest, and then just float up. Just should feel nice. And then back down. This is more of a mobility exercise. It's not hard work. It's just, lifting against gravity is hard work with your spine, by the way, I shouldn't say that. But it's just nice. It just feels good to move through those shoulder blades and to glide into the spine into an extended position. Okay, one more. All right, come back into the stopper and we're gonna do a breaststroke right here. You're gonna take your hands out like a breaststroke, okay, by your ears. If they lower too low, try to stop and sweep out from there. Okay, you're trying to keep your arms lifted, 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 sweep out, okay? Legs are on the bar. Reach, 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 sweep around, slide up your body. Try not to let those arms lower below your face. You're looking right at your headrest or the floor. Okay, we're gonna reverse it now. So you're gonna sweep it around and bring it back in by your body. Sweep it around, slide down. Two more. Awesome, y'all. Lay on your right side now. Turn and lay on your right side. Put that loop on your left foot now. Make sure your armpit's still at the edge of the box. You don't want to show too much of your body off the box. is really challenging. I mean, it's just too much to try and stabilize. Okay, now stretch that left leg. You're going to sweep the left foot forward and back, keeping that rib up off the box on the right side. Your chest open. Just trunk stability, like a lot of trunk stability right now. Nice work, everybody. Bring that head back again. Lift your rib. Yeah, and then drop your head in your hand. There you go. Okay, now we're going to do that big circle where you can go to external and then back to parallel. Remembering your exhale is going to help you at the top of the circle where it's usually the hardest part. And if you think about it, the, when we have like a red spring on, a heavier spring, the strap, it helps you come back towards the tower because it's so strong. The spring is doing the work. One of the reasons this is so much harder is because you have to do the work to bring it closer to the face and tower instead of the spring doing it for you. Does that make sense? Let's go the other way. And after watching one of your posts this week, Nicole, I organized my daughter's entire room yesterday. <laughs> I just had to tell you that. <laughs> All your posts make me go, I gotta go do something, I gotta go organize something. She's an organ, that's her, her job. She's a company, they organize. Oh, Ruthie. Oh, yeah. Ruthie wants to bake and create, but she never wants to clean it up, you know. She creates all kinds of beautiful things, but it's a disaster. In the <laughs> okay, now stretch that left leg out. Bend your knee. 
Okay, now you're gonna kick out and in, keeping that carriage still with that tension on that strap. Last one, y'all. Take that loop off your foot. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, step off your box and face it. We're gonna go ahead and stretch the glute while it's really burning. Put the leg up there in that pigeon stretch, and I want you to do this little um, fun circle, okay? So you're gonna drop down towards your foot, glide across and up, and it just feels so good. Do maybe three, and then you're gonna go the other way where you're turning towards your knee, dropping that left shoulder as close to that knee, sweeping it across. Awesome job, y'all. Okay, now, new thing today. Before we change legs, you're gonna turn this leg the opposite direction, okay? And then you're gonna turn that left leg out. You're gonna be bending your left knee, opening that left right hip flex, I mean, inner thigh and hip flexor, and drop down and up. So you're just kinda like opening up through there. And then twist a little bit with it. You're like rotating in the joint itself. Look back, moving the pelvis. All right, other side. So that's just internal, and the other one, this one's external that we're doing right now, this external. And you're just gonna do the same thing. Turn towards your foot, sweep it around, come back up. It's a mobility exercise for the hips. And once it gets easy to do this, what you do is you move your foot away from you even more. And then it makes it a little bit more stretchier. And then you just, and there's a point where you can't go any further, like your leg going straight, it's gonna stretch a different muscle, but you get the idea. Go the other way, so remember it's three circles, both directions. Once you're done, all you're gonna do is internally rotate that leg, turn your right foot out and turn away from the box. You give yourself some space between your knee and your leg so that you can drop the hip a little bit. And I feel really pinchy in this hip when I do this. I have an impingement in this hip. And so I go to where there's, where I start to feel pain, I stop and I come back up, all right? Pain-free range of motion is where you're going to. Okay, now come all the way back up, take that leg off and we're done with the box. So you can slide the box off for me. We're gonna do one more thing with the push through bar and this is how you get on here. Let's do a yellow, it blue's a little too aggressive. Just grab the bar, pull the carriage in, put, get on your knees like this, okay? And then just come to a Z sit from there. Your left shin's against the shoulder blocks, your right shin's on, get on your knees and face the other. Okay, we're gonna pull with the left arm and side bend into the bar and hold, and then drop the left shoulder, reach tall with your right arm, hold this, stretch, and breathe into that right side. Think about your left elbow trying to touch your left hip the whole time. Now, straighten those arms, come to a T, and then look back behind you and open up. Okay, we're gonna come back to the T, side bend. Inhale, stretch to the T, open to the back. Good, pull, side bend. <sighs> Inhale, stretch out, rotate back, open that chest. And one more of those. <sighs> and some good lateral flexion, it feels so good to do that. Now, face the foot bar, I mean, face the push through bar. Put your feet off the edge of the headrest. And you're gonna let yourself go all the way to the end and kind of scoot under with your pelvis. And then open the chest from there. Feels nice. And you're going to draw the blades together and apart. Together and apart. So I'm not really opening my neck a lot. I'm trying to open my chest. So be careful not to get like that. Four more. I'm look at it right. Try to just move your blades. All right, now sit up tall. Put your feet on the headrest, and you're gonna push the carriage to the end. 
Okay, keep it closed and you're gonna lift and pull and lower. Elbows are by your ribs, you're working those triceps, pull. It's a row, but it's a nice, kind of easier row. Pushing those feet into the headrest the whole time, pushing your seat towards the end. Option, put your feet on the shoulder blocks. I mean, yeah, shoulder block. And you're gonna keep going. Option to lift your hips a little. Keep going, okay? If you move the carriage, don't keep going. You can come up a little higher if you can keep the carriage still. Makes it a really tough row now. Two more ladies. Awesome, now put your right hand in the middle of the bar, sit down, hand to the back, turn. Legs go to Z. Reach the arms out into a T first, pull to the right side, bending that elbow, drop the right shoulder out of your ear, and hold that stretch and breathe into that left side. Fingertips are trying to reach towards that top crossbar. Okay, now start to move out into the T. Rotate back and look. Exhale, pull and rotate. If you think about it, we've already done the Eve's lunge, we've already done the pigeon stretch, we've already done the hip flexor stretch. So this is stretching your chest muscles and your hips. All right, let's finish this last one up. Okay, hold the row, put your hand on the wood frame in front of you, let go of the bar and just slide yourself back in. Add two red springs, take off the yellow if you want, or you can leave it on actually for feet and straps. Once you put your feet in the straps, you're gonna start to lower and lift your legs. We got a lot of arms in today, y'all. Those legs are gonna lower and lift straight down and straight up. Okay, now do circles. We're gonna do five each direction. Once you've done five, reverse the directions. Still maintaining that neutral pelvis, not allowing the sacrum to come off that mat or the back of the pelvis is what the sacrum is. All right, once you've done those 15 total, it's lower and lift five, circling five each direction, you're gonna lower to 45 degrees with your feet turned external. Bend your knees in and out and you're just massaging into the hips, but you're still working the legs. Those inner thighs will feel it the most and some of the hamstrings as well. Okay, now take your feet wider and keep going in and out in those big wide plie kind of squats in the air. Okay, ladies, bring those heels back together and bend your knees just a little bit, like a little bend. Keep the knees bent, and, or the carriage still, I mean, and extend your left leg out to the side and come back in without moving the carriage. Your heels will touch, and then the other leg will move out and in. So it's still externally rotated, and you're working the inner thighs a lot here. Very good, you guys. Now try both at the same time without moving the carriage. You're gonna go out and back together with those heels. It's a type of the Peter Pan. It's just a hard one. It's a hard version of it. All right, now hold those legs wide, grab those ropes and pull back and stretch open through those inner thighs. 
Okay, now bring those legs back up and above you and then turn internal and lower and lift with internally rotated legs. Now open your legs wider and keep lowering and lifting internally rotated. Keep your legs lower and drop them down, but keep them apart like that. And then externally rotate in, like open, close, internal, external rotation. Kind of massaging in there and rotation. All right, bend those knees, take those straps off and step to the right side of your reformer. Add the green spring, leave it there so you already have them on there for next class. Soft knees, we're gonna roll down. Feet are under the sits bones, which are not very wide. Your sits bones, th this is shoulder distance apart. This is hips distance apart. Your hips are not wide, okay? Soft knee, drop your chin, roll down for me all the way to the ground. If you gotta bend your knees a lot to touch the floor, do it. Relax that head, neck, and shoulders. Nod and shake your head. Keep the knees soft or bent and roll all the way to the top. Your center of gravity is over the center of the ankle. Once you get to the top, open the chest up and palms turned forward. Try to keep the chest open and then release the hands, but don't go to that position. Just open and then change the wrist. Drop your ear over to one side. And to the other side. One more thing is take your right hand, grab it, pull back, see if you can stretch it back. That's a gentle way, and then switch, or you can take both hands, reach back. If you wanna straighten your wrist, if you hyperextend, try to bend your elbows and lift like that. Try different things. And release those arms, y'all are done. Thank you, ladies.